Hi everyone, I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me on your Labor Day holiday. Today is Monday, September 4th, 2023. I hope you have the day off. Over 50 reports were sent in to AMS of the Space X crew. Get the video. Get the video. I'm getting a video. There's this huge thing making re-entry right now. A huge fireball up in the sky. That's actually sick. It's just leaving a trail across the sky. That thing's coming from like several times the speed of sound into the atmosphere. It's crossing over the sky. Hold on, I need to get out and record this. Look at that thing. Oh, I gotta record on it. But yeah, it's gorgeous. Look at it. It only took it like a few seconds to go from one end of the sky to the other. It's like fading off in the distance now. I can barely even capture it. Turning to the earth and landing off the coast of Florida. There was several reports of people hearing um, up to three sonic booms as it re-entered the Earth's atmosphere. A lot of people did not know that SpaceX was um, going to do its re-entry with four astronauts. And quite fascinatingly, it left a plasma trail as it re-entered. It splashed down off the coast of Jacksonville, Florida. Between 12.05 a.m. and 12.17 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, uh, the Dragon Endeavor capsule arched across the night sky over the Gulf of Mexico and central northeast Florida, generating a largely harmless but sometimes startling sonic booms that could be heard across the state. The conclusion of the nearly six-month science mission aboard the International Space Station began 17 hours prior to the splashdown. As it came through the Earth's atmosphere, the Dragon's heat shield endured temperatures of up to 3,500 degrees, which produced a layer of plasma around the capsule, and it knocked out ground communication with the crew for about seven minutes. The four astronauts who returned to Earth were uh, Commander Stephen Bauer, the pilot, Warren Woody Hoberg, both from NASA, Russian cosmonaut um, Andre Fedaya, and Sultan Al Nanyadi, the first long duration crew member from the United Arab Emirates. The splashdown of this mission was initially scheduled for September 3rd. However, NASA delayed it due to weather. It is unclear whether the weather delay was a direct result of the hurricane. Weather requirements for crew Dragon splashdowns are as the following. No lightning with within 10 miles, waves no greater than 7 degrees slope, wind speed no greater than 12 miles an hour, unless less than 25% chance of rain, and at least one half mile visibility in the daytime or one mile at night. At this point in time, Dragon has saved all of its propulsion systems and is now uh, has already terminated that nitrox suit and cabin purges. Those were helping to keep the crew cool during the reentry. Looks like we have four very beautiful and healthy main parachutes. Dragon, we see a nominal descent rate on four healthy mains. So there's that confirmation. Copy 1,000 meters. Confirmation of those four healthy shoot deployments. Now standing by for splashdown. At the point of splashdown, the capsule will be going about 15 or 16 miles per hour. 
continuing to decelerate from a, a rate of uh, from a speed of about uh, 120 miles per hour. 800. So we will now begin. Copy 800. To hear Commander Steve Bowen call out the altitude um, as they approach the water surface. That is again in meters. Landing in water is simpler and provides more margin against unlikely parachute issues. Uh, we had to learn how to make Dragon waterproof, but once you do that, it's very much a rinse, review, reuse type process. 600. Copy 600. 600 meters, and the descent rate is as predicted, meaning we're targeting that splashdown time in about a minute. Live view of Dragon uh, Endeavor with the crew six uh, team members on board being held up by four beautiful main parachutes. Dragon, we see 400. We're now about 400 meters above the ocean surface. Dragon 200 brace for splashdown. Copy braced for splashdown. Again, the seats have been rotated in the position to take the loads of uh, re-entry and parachute deployment as well as splashdown. The crew is braced. We are inside 100 meters. Dragon Endeavor continuing its slow descent. There we can see splashdown on screen. Those parachutes are then cut and released. Dragon Endeavor has now returned home. NASA astronauts Steve Bowen, Woody Hoberg, Sultan Al Nayadi, and Andre Fedyev. Dragon splashdown. We are in water at Dragon. Copy splashdown, and we see main shoots cut. After a 17, after a 17 hour return journey from space, Crew 6 is home. Dragon now in the air, the hydraulic lift being uh, activated and uh, will be utilized to center Dragon on the nest there at the aft end of the vessel. I love this view because you can see the state of the heat shield. It did such incredible work during atmospheric reentry. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Uh, please stay safe, and I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.